Light so bright, light so pure. Keepers of light, answer me true. Light so bright, so pure, light so true. I give myself to you. Keep on moving, girl. One step after another. There must be a way out of this thicket. Hello? Is there somebody out there? Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Oh, no, not the fire. Please, gods of the holy mountain, don't let it end this way. No, no, get up! No! Him. Hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a close call. Even a child knows that this simple torch won't keep the night's creatures away. What on earth were you doing out here without a proper light? I tried to kill me. Uh, I ran away. <laughs> uh, don't worry. You're safe now. My light will keep us, keep us safe. No. You don't understand. Look, I know how getting lost in the wood alone can mess with your head. My village is not far away. Can you walk? I'm sure everything will be better once you had a warm meal. No. I can't come with you. Tomorrow is the Festival of Lights. What are you going to tell the keepers when they see me? Festival of Lights is a celebration of love. What objections could the peak keepers possibly have against giving shelter to someone who is lost? More than you can possibly imagine. No, I can't come with you. You saved my life. What is it better than the trouble I caused you? I've got to go. Farewell. And thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Don't be silly. Look at yourself. I'm not letting you die out here. Festival nights should be the best night of a year, not your worst. You'll be safe at my house, I promise. My name is Driverson. What's your name? Frostwind. Pleased to meet you, Frostwind. Here, take my hand. There's a warm fire waiting for us. Thank you. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. This way. It was the year 385 after the awakening. The village of Ferndale lay cozily nestled in the valley of the Serpent River, where the wind sweeping down from the holy mountain tingled with the scent of pine trees, and the streets were filled with the sound of playing children in oxen carts on cobblestone. 
As with every other village, each household needed to have its own holy light. These were nothing like ordinary lanterns. They were gifts from the gods. They shone bright as fire, yet without flame, and nothing could extinguish them. But the most important thing was that while even the strongest walls and gates could not keep the dark creatures away that came from the forest in the night, the holy light could. A home without a light would not have been a safe place to live, and leaving the village without one at night would have been plain suicide. Over the course of months, however, even a holy light would eventually begin to dim, and so once every year, at the time of the summer solstice, farmers, millers, blacksmiths, bakers, carpenters, spinsters, weavers, cobblers, everyone in the village who could afford to do so would lay down their work for a day and celebrate the festival of lights. Families would gather in their homes and celebrate each other's company with lots of mulled wine, minced pie, and other festive specialities. Parents would give their children homemade presents, and in the evening, the village priest would walk from door to door, giving everyone their blessing and renew the lights in every house. For the villagers, this was the happiest day of the year, as the return of light to their home reminded them that the gods and their earthly servants would always be there to love and protect them, for they were the keepers of the light. In a world forsaken by time Is a light that always shall shine It flows from out of your breath Putting all the darkness to death A torch in the dark is my own Light this place and let the wine Come forth now, oh so bright Come with me and show your might So the keepers can see, the keepers can feel Coming. Quick, make sure you're home when they come, or you won't get your presents. 
Do you know what you're going to get? I want a rocking horse. I'm going to get my own hunting knife. How do you know? I just know. And I also know what you are going to get. Oh, tell me. No, I know you're a telltale. I'm not. I won't. I swear. Not even mom. Come on. And what's in for me? Snowbell, Sun Chaser. Get your little fuzzy behinds over here right now. I'm coming, mommy. Wait for me. Mom? Mom? Where are you? Mom! Uh, what? What the hell? Where am I? Hello? Hello? Uh. <laughs> ah, you're awake. I was beginning to worry about you. River Song? Yeah, it's me. Welcome to my humble home. Here, I made you some tea. Um, thank you, but how long was I asleep? Uh, pretty much the whole day, which is good. How are you holding up? Uh, everything still hurts. Yeah, I'm not surprised. What were you doing out there? I was running away. From what? Or whom? The keepers at Cold Lake. I was preparing dinner with my mom when they suddenly burst into our house, armed to their teeth, telling us we were all arrested. My mother punched the first one right in the face, yelling at me to run for my life. I struck her down with her swords. I managed to surpass them and run as fast as I could. I don't know what happened to my mother. I think she's... Yeah. They're after you because you have the Dark Plague, right? How do you know? <sighs> you hid it well. The scarf covering the patch of missing fur on your neck, plague smell masked with lilacs and jasmine. All well done, but the signs are obvious if you know how what to look for. Wow! You knew it all along? And you still saved me and took me to your home? Why? If they find out you're hiding a plague bearer, I'm then... A, I'm a healer. It's what I do. I swore an oath to help people in need. If the keepers want me to leave you to die, they will have to kill me first. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Don't worry. Brother Strongarm spends most of his time getting high on incense. And Brother Greystone is an old geezer who can barely remember his own birthday. <laughs> they couldn't hurt a fly. We're going to wrap you up in a blanket, put some powder on your nose, and tell them I'm treating you for a cold. Thank you. Don't think anything of it. Those cruel things that happened to you and your mother, helping ease the pain is the least I can do. Where was your father when all this happened? Uh, let's just say he lives far, far away. And he won't be back anytime soon. Ah, I'm sorry. What happened? He had to leave us when I was still a little girl. And the only thing he left behind was... The pendant! I was wearing a pendant! Yeah, yeah, Where yeah. is shh, it? Shh, shh, shh. Relax, relax. It's right here. On the table. I took it off of you so it wouldn't strangle yourself. Ah, oh, thank you. It's the only thing left to remind me of him. He told, he told me to hold on to it in bad times. Did he tell you what the symbol in the front means? No, why? Uh, because I've seen it before, at a friend's place. He's sort of an expert on strange things and I'm dying to ask him what he might know about it. You'll have to tell him the full story sometime, but not now, of course. The keepers are coming, it's time to get you dressed up. citizens and friends we have once again come together 
To celebrate the beginning of a new year and praise the gods of the holy mountain. As it was and always will be. Once more we shall accept the trial laid upon us and never falter in our fight against the evil that hides in the darkness and those who have been infested by it. As it was and always will be. Once more we shall open our doors and our hearts and let new light be brought into our homes so it may always shine upon us as it was and always will be. This year a very special blessing and honor has been bestowed upon us. Brother Greystone and I are getting old and frail and walking from home to home is a burden that becomes harder and harder for us. To that end, Great Overseer Ironwill from the Bishopric of Cold Lake has decided to favor our humble parish with his presence. He will lead this year's renewal ceremony, for which we thank him from the bottom of our hearts. Now, let the ceremonies begin. Wait, Ironwell? From Cold Lake? No, he knows me. He knows everyone. <sighs> Damn, that wasn't part of my plan. If he sees me, we're both done for. Uh, don't panic. We're going to improvise. We just have to convince them that you have a terrible clay case of... Uh... The flu, yes, the flu. Uh, sneeze and cough a lot. That will, that will keep them from taking a close look at you. What if it doesn't work? Uh, then you run. There, there's a window in the back of the house. But it will work, I'm sure. Pull your hat down. Here they come. We're coming to bring the light. It's a great honor to welcome you to my home, great overseer, Iron Will. Our light is right here. A very nice home you have. What is your profession? If I may ask. I am a healer. Ooh, interesting. We don't have any of those in Cold Lake. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh. The last one we had was convicted of witchcraft. And we had to burn him on a stake. Not a pretty sight. Um, yeah. I, uh... Should I worry, maybe? But I guess not. Don't worry. It's just River Song. Collecting herbs and mixing ointments is his passion. And he has never done anything against the will of the great gods. <laughs> and? Who's that? Oh, uh, just a patient. Uh, don't, don't get too close, it's very contagious. Uh, you don't want to spread the flu all over the village, won't you, would you? <laughs> well, of course not. Brother Strongarm, finish quickly so we get out of here. Uh, yes, um, I hereby christen this home with the divine light of the holy mountain. May it protect you and your home from all evil. As it was and always will be. Thank you, keepers of the light, for giving me your gift. I shall always be grateful to you and the great gods. <coughs> <sighs> Hurry up, strong arm. I may blindly trust the great gods, <laughs> but I'd rather not tempt them. Yes. Um, ha have a good evening, River Song, and my best wishes for your patient. Ah, thank you, and my best wishes for you as well. <coughs> Wait a minute. Um, what's that? Uh, Lilacs and jasmine? Uh, yeah. Um, um. What kind of flu medicine is that? That. That's just my new herbal tea. Oh, keeps away the cold. And it's great if you have sweaty paws, like me. <laughs> See? That's not part of any flu medicine that I ever heard about. And I could swear I've smelled this before. 
Who's the patient of yours again? Uh, no one in particular, just a friend from the village. She's not with her family. On festival night? Well... I want to see her. Uh, no, 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 that's not a good idea. That's a very bad idea, actually. Uh, what if you catch the flu? That's up to the gods. Now get out of my way. Uh, I think I remember where I caught that scent before. Frost wind! No! <laughs> Run! Uh, All right! Uh, ah! Ah! She's out of the window! Go uh, get her! This man has been concealing a person carrying the Dark Plague. The Dark Plague is one of our biggest threats of our civilization. It's the law of the great gods of the Holy Mountain that those who carry it must be eliminated. And those who help the infected shall be tried with no mercy. As it was and always will be. Great Overseer, she escaped into the darkness. Shall we lock down the gates? I don't think that would stop her. The walls of this lousy place have cracks like the size of pig rats. And finding her outside in the dark is hopeless. She was lucky to survive the night once. <laughs> she won't be so lucky a second time. Let the night take her. Ah, ah, ah. I want him on a trial by tomorrow. And I want everyone in the village to see what happens to witches who bring the dark plague into our midst. You will see when it gets you. The leash lord is an old friend of my family. He knows I'm not a witcher. He would never sentence me. Never! Ah. We'll see, uh. witcher. We'll see. fallen humans we do not deserve it and we still have new reverend spirit in which we can live a more obedient life through your word we are in the name of your blessed son jesus christ amen wait what what's that some some sort of military base it's not, not on the map but there, there's there's signs of life all over the place. Hello? Hello? Is, there, is anybody there? This is Robert Hansen. I'm the last survivor of my my group. Can you can you hear me? Please. I, I need your help. Answer me, please. I'm I'm a friend. If there's anybody in there, please open the airlock. I, I know you're in there. I, I can see your lights are on. Please, I'll, I'll do anything for you. Anything, I swear. Please, let me in. Go away. This is the new age. Your kind no longer rules this place. My... my kind? What do you mean? I'm a survivor, just like you. We're all of the same kind, aren't we? I said go away. This is our final warning! But I have nowhere to go. I haven't had anything to drink for days. I need water or I'm going to die. Come on, let me in, you bastards! Let me in, please! The, the door... It, it, it opens. Thank you. Thank you, whoever you are. Thank you! 
One more time. This is the new age. Your kind no longer rules this place. Gentlemen, it is my honor and my privilege to announce that His Serene Highness, <coughs> Liege Lord Elecrown, of the one or the other. <coughs> oh, what the hell am I even doing here? Oh, my head is killing me. Chippy? Chippy Tooth, is that you? Yes. I am afraid so. You know, some idiot got himself caught with a plague bearer and that smug bastard from Cold Lake thought, hey, let's just cancel everybody's holidays and have a lovely trial while everyone's still hungover. Yeah, well, sorry for being that idiot, I guess. Ah, uh, you will be sorry. Believe me, you picked a bad day for pulling that kind of shenanigans. Elder Crown would have given you a slap on the wrist and sent you home without dessert, but Iron Will, that guy is dead serious. <coughs> <coughs> oh, damn. Oh, that hug is killing me. How long oh. did you stay up last night? <sighs> Too long. We sent the kids to bed at uh, 11? Then the night star and his wife came over and we ended up killing at least, uh, I think, half a dozen bottles. When you get home, you should, should get some dandelion mugwort <coughs> and gentian and let it simmer on the stove for a while. It won't make up for the sleep you lost, but it would at least help you clear your head. <laughs> Thanks. The old witcher, always on duty, right? Healer, Chippy. Healer. Whatever you call it. You're not making my job any easier. I mean, we've known each other for how long? And now I'm the one who has to send you up to the scaffolds in the Keeper's name. The verdict hasn't been spoken yet. And you don't have to do this, you know? I am a soldier of the guard. If I refuse to obey the Lord's order, I will be the next one watching his own trial from that cage. And unlike you, I have a wife and kids. There is nothing I can do for you, River. I'm sorry. It's all right, Chippy. Oh, baby girl. <clears throat> I am... <clears throat> Gentlemen, please... Oh. <clears throat> Gentlemen, please stand for the High Court. Brother Strongarm, Chronicler of Ferndale, His Serene Highness, Lord Elder Crown of Ferndale, and Great Overseer Ironwell of Cold Lake. Ah! Are you freaking crazy? Out! Out! Out with you! Out! 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 And stay outside! Ah. The High Court of Ferndale is now in session. Thank you. Will everybody please be seated? I'm calling the case of the people of Ferndale against Healer Riversong. Which uh, Riversong? Excuse me, Overseer, but would you mind if we go with the protocol? Certainly. Then please make your opening statement. Your Honor. The accused has been charged with the crime of performing witchcraft, desecration of the holy sacrament of the Festival of Light, 
ants giving shelter to a bearer of the dark plague. Only the gods of the holy mountain know where the plague bearer is now. Instead of turning her in, Witcher River Song decided to shelter and foster her, releasing her evil darkness upon the entire town of Ferndale. I saw it with my own eyes, and Brother Strongham can testify that the accused is guilty as charged. Brother Strongham, is Orethia Ironwood correct? Yes, my lord. I too saw it with my own eyes. I did not want to believe it, but it is the truth. The divine laws know only one punishment for this crime. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Am I not allowed to defend myself? What kind of trial is this? Silence, Witcher! Over <laughs> here, Iron Will. River Song is correct. We ought to hear his side of the case as well. All right, let the Witcher talk. I am a healer, not a Witcher. My desire is to help, not to destroy. I never had any bad intentions. That's completely absurd. I was on my way home from collecting herbs when I found her. She was getting attacked by a snapshot and a dozen pig rats. And she didn't have a light with her. She could no longer defend herself. I had to help or she would have died. But you knew she had the plague and that the plague cannot be cured. Of course, my lord. But I also know that the whole scare about how contagious the plague is is nothing but a myth. I've seen more sick people than any of you, and I've seen my share of contagious di diseases, and the Dark Plague is not one of them. And even if it cannot be cured, many people don't even show symptoms for many years. And why shouldn't they be allowed to live a decent life until then? If it is not infectious, then why is it so common? I... I don't know. But look at me, if it were so bad, shouldn't I have it by now? Witchcraft! Overseer, <sighs> please. <sighs> Why are they even listening to this nonsense? The law is the law. Aiding the plague infected is a crime against life itself, and must be punished as such. <sighs> Bullshit! River Song, show some respect. You're in a court of law. A fine law you have that commands you to kill your own people. All right, gentlemen, this is leading nowhere. Riverthong has been a valuable member of our community for many years. He was always there to help the sick, be they nobles, clerics, or beggars. I see no ill will in what he did. The death penalty would be excessive. By virtue of the powers bestowed upon me, as the liege lord of Ferndale, I hereby decide to let mercy prevail and... Mercy? Are the gods of the holy mountain not merciful enough for you? What? Are you implying that the eternal gods, whose mercy is endless, do not kindly knock upon us that you put yourself above their laws? With all due respect, Overseer Ironwell, I appreciate your spiritual guidance. But I am the legitimate ruler of this town, and I am the one who speaks justice and not you. You're of course right. So I take it that next year, you would rather not have us come to your town for the festival. And yet you would rather like to see the dark creatures hound the streets at night, feeding on the innocent, the children, when the lights begin to dim. I'm sure keeping your town safe will not pose a challenge to a magnificent ruler like you, my serene Lord Elder Crown. I, I'm sorry, Overseer Ironwell. I concur. This crime calls for a bold example of justice, so that others shall not follow the witcher's evil path. I hereby condemn you, River Song of Ferndale, to be hanged at dusk. This is an outrage! A just decision, my lord. Shut up and get out of my town hall! Out! <laughs>
<sighs> Which, uh, as I said, but it's just you. <laughs> I am so disappointed in you, son. One day you will pay for this, I promise you will pay for this! And, and what now, my lord? <laughs> now, we do what needs to be done. My, my lord, may, may I request to be relieved of my duties for today? Uh, River and I have known each other for years. Please don't make me do this. Do I look like I'm enjoying this? But still I am doing my duty. And I expect you to do the same. Is there anything I can get you for your hangover? You know, I was planning to see the healer, but I guess that has been taken care of. Ah, uh, don't push it. I'll let my servant bring you some water. And now, please excuse me. River? Just leave me alone, all right? Okay. There. Long enough to see a trial. We need to get you out of there. I could smash the glass, but if the red wakes up before I get to him, we're both done for. I have a better idea. Step away from the window. Chippy Tooth. Hey! Hey you, Chippy! Mm. Wake up! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Who? What? Where? 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 Oh! Oh, it's you. Chippy, what the hell are you doing? You need to stay awake or the Lord's going to skin you and use your hide as a throw rug. I know. I know if I only wasn't so damn... <laughs> yeah, it's really stuffy in here. You should open a window and let some fresh air in. I'm sure that will help. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's try that. <laughs> Fresh air. I feel so much better now. Ow, ow, ow! That hurt! And holy crap, this guy smells like a brewery. Oh. I. <laughs> I can't believe you came back for me, thank you. <sighs> I owed you, but let's not start celebrating yet. We still need to figure out where to go from here. Uh, do you remember the friend I told you about yesterday? The strange one? Yeah, <laughs> he lives in a shed in the Serpent River. People fear him because he somehow manages to survive in the woods without the holy light. He doesn't give a damn about the keepers and their power. He's our only option for a night outside the village, unless... <laughs> unless you want to room with the pig rats again. <laughs> no, thank you. I've had my fill of snappy bitey forest critters for this week. All right, then let's get the hell out of here. Follow me. Hey, Frostwind, wake up, little one. Uh, but I don't want to wake up. It's still dark outside. I know, but Daddy needs to tell you something very important. 
What is it? Did something happen? Yes, yes, my dear. Daddy has to leave. And I'm afraid I won't be back for a long time. You mean, like, for a week? No. A month? No. A year? No. More than a year? Why? Is it because of me? I always kept my secret. I never told anyone. I swear. Not at all. It's because I've been doing a good job. The High Overseer has asked me to become head researcher at the Stronghold. Inside the Holy Mountain? Wow, that's awesome! I want to know all about it. You have to write me a letter every day. Oh, I, I wish I could, but I can't. The Keepers would read them, and then bad things would happen. How bad? Do you remember our little secret? It's not a game anymore. I know I never told you this, but if anyone finds out who you really are, the Keepers will kill you, and Mother, and possibly me too. No, what? <laughs> no, please don't leave. You must stay here and protect us, please. Don't go. Don't be afraid, little one. You're a strong girl, and I know you can keep a secret. And maybe I won't be able to write to you, but Mother is still one of the best tailors in town. I can still send you clothes to repair, and who knows, maybe I'll forget things in my pockets. Like, like sweets? <laughs> yes, how did you know? But don't eat them all, not at once. I want you to eat one every week, not more, not less, exactly one. And no other sweets, just those I send you, do you understand? Yes, but why? Because, well, because <laughs> sweets are bad for your teeth. Okay. And, and there's another thing. I want to give you something before I leave. Here. Wow, thank you, Dad. This is beautiful. I want you to wear this pendant all the time. Whatever happens, never take it off. Not even when I'm taking a bath? Not even then. Cherish it like life itself, because one day, it might save yours. How so? You'll have to trust me on that. One day, you'll understand all this. But for now, the less you know, the better. I promise I will be watching over you from the Holy Mountain. And I have a dream that one day all this won't be necessary anymore. Who knows? Maybe that dream will come true, and then we'll see each other again. Now come here. Give Daddy a hug. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Please don't go. I love you too, but I... I have to go. Farewell, my little one. Farewell. I see daylight! Finally! I race you! Hey, be careful! <coughs> Damn! Just a few years ago, I used to outrun the fastest boys of town. Now, look at me. <laughs> I think you're doing pretty well. Fiddlesticks. I'm getting worse every day and you know it. Well, you still keep on going. You have a strong will to live. <laughs> it's really just a strong desire to get out of dark, gloomy caves fast. <laughs> Don't you belittle my caves. It's a treasure house of useful, useful herbs and mushrooms. So, your mysterious friend, is he a healer too? Ah, uh, yes and no. He uh, is more of a substance researcher. Like cave mushrooms? Yeah, you gotta be careful with those. Too much of them and they will cause a total loss of all basic motor functions. The mind recoils in horror and unable to communicate with the body. You can actually watch yourself behaving in terrible, terrible ways, but you can't control it. Nasty stuff. <laughs> Wait. Do you smell it too? Smoke. Smoke by the gods. Oh no, the cabin. Burned to the ground. Is this where he used to live? Yeah. Poor bottle brush. 
Bottle brush? Yeah, this was his house, and now it's all gone. His name is Bottle brush. Yeah, for, for the mountain's sake it is. Well, that explains why he's hiding. <laughs> Yes, and now he's possibly dead. What a great opportunity to make some more fun of him. I'm sorry. I want to know what happened. Maybe we can find some something in the ashes. Hmm. Whoever did this was very thorough. There's almost nothing left. Yeah, and I smell... I smell oil. It's all over the place. This wasn't an accident. Have you found... Have you found a body? No, nothing. Hmm. Then let's cross our claws that he managed to get away. I guess that means our stay for the night has been cancelled, huh? Yeah, we're stuck, dear gods. Oh, look what I found! What? <laughs> what is it? It's a strange drawing showing some strange creature. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's typical for old Brushy. The strange creature is called a human. <laughs> Brushy's home used to be full of stuff like that. A human? My mom used to tell me fairy tales about them. When I was little, I really believed they existed. Somewhere in the woods, hunting us kids. Brushy was totally obsessed with humans. He spent his whole life digging through old ruins, looking for artifacts. The keepers have declared the ruins a holy site, but that never concerned him. He ended up with quite a collection. Tools, statues, art, lots of mysterious things. He reminds me a lot of my father. I was too young to really understand what he was doing, but I think he was also searching for something. He would often disappear into the forest for hours and return with, books, with boxes full of strange things. How did he manage to get around the keepers? He... he is one of them. What? Yes, I am the daughter of Silverstreak, the dressmaker, and brother Fireheart of Pinecrest, former high overseer of Cold Lake, a bastard, half keeper, half mundane. Wow. Your mother broke a keeper's bloodline? She should, she could as well have set the temple on fire. Of course they never told anyone about it. Officially, I'm an orphan. As long as father was still living in Cold Lake, he would come to our house, pretending to do business with my mom. When he was ordered back to the Holy Mountain one day, he promised to do everything he could to protect us, but we knew we'd most likely never see him again. Hmm. Oh, I think, I think I found something. Frostwind, show me your pendant again, please. Here? Why? Because I know I've seen it before. This, this little sign that they used to hang above the, above the door. Maybe it's like a secret guild symbol and your father wanted you to seek out others who wear this sign if you were in trouble? Maybe, maybe not. You. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't understand you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't he adorable? Look at that little cape and the little itsy bitsy knife. Maybe he's lost and wants to find his baby back to his mommy. <laughs> I don't think so. You have something that we want. Give it to me. <laughs> I know that's what you said. And if you weren't too stupid to take 
Try your scarf, probably. Maybe they could understand you, too. Mm. So, now, my lady, show me your necklace. You, take it. You're carrying the sign, but that alone is not enough. You said your father, or the fireheart of Pinecrest, gave this to you. Prove it. Light so bright, light so pure. Now you. Oh, it's a code. No, it's not a code. It's a sign my mother taught me. Light so bright, light so pure. Keepers of the light, answer me true. Thank you. But I think I've heard enough. Bottle brush? You're alive? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> hey, please welcome our friends, Frostwind of Cold Lake and River Song of Ferndale. May I introduce myself? I'm Longleaf of Camp Freedom. I'm sorry I had to scare you like that, but we had to make sure that you are, well, who you say you are. <coughs> 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 Damn the gods! I thought this thing would suffocate me. Um, uh, hi, uh, I'm Bitternut. Nice to meet you. Brushy, old chap. What on earth happened to your house? Nah, burned down by the keepers. I've been very active lately, combing through the woods, sending new overseers to all the villages, burning witches at the stake. Yeah. But I got a warning from our scouts and got away in time. Your scouts? Your father didn't tell you what the symbol means, right? It's the Tree of Knowledge, a secret sign of the rebel underground. The Keeper's reign is a tyranny, and someone needs to stop them. That someone is us. Your father has been one of our biggest supporters. All in secrecy, of course. That makes you, my lady, a very welcome guest. Brush, you never told me. <laughs> you didn't have to know. But it's getting dark, and I'm sure you both need a good meal and a warm place to sleep. Please, come on, follow me. I will lead you to the, your way to the Camp Freedom. Is that like your secret base? Mm, much more than that, my dear, much more. Once there, I promise you two will have a lot of catching up to do. Let's go. This way. I don't believe all this. I don't <laughs> believe all this. Welcome to Camp Freedom. <laughs> wow. This is a lot bigger than I expected. <laughs> Look at all these lights. What magic is that? Electricity. Science, not magic. You will learn all about it, I promise. But first, let me introduce you. Here, here. We have a very special guest today. Please all welcome Frostwind of Cold Lake, daughter of Brother Fireheart, our savior. Hey, 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 Begging some priests for pieces of radioactive rock to protect us from the pigrets. Uh, wait. Isn't Fireheart a keeper himself? Yes. And has been secretly supplying us with everything we need. Right from inside the keeper's stronghold. And more than that, he enlightened us with the ancient knowledge of our creators. All this because he fell in love with a commoner who opened his eyes to the truth. You know him? Where is he now? Oh yes, I've met him many times. He still works inside the Holy Mountain, helping maintain and operate the ancient machinery. Attention everybody, please stand back and don't touch any metal parts. Activate in three, two, one. 
Whoa! Yes! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> what? What is this thing? Sparky. Of all the useful artifacts still in storage, you choose to repair the fucking soda machine, seriously? Oh, forgive me. I only got four transformers, the rod charging stations, the three extra field generators, and the electric fans back online today. Can't I do something just for fun after hours? Here, that'll help you pull that stick out of your ass. Mm. Are you kidding me? This stuff is at least 500 years old. Well, according to the label, it has no natural ingredients and twice the half-life of plutonium. What could possibly go wrong? Cheers! Ah, the crowning achievement of human civilization. Come on, everybody! The drinks are on the house tonight! Come on, you rusty piece of junk! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> what? What the hell is going on here? <gasps> it's Stormrunner. What? Who? Who? Uh, the leader of the rebellion. Just do as everyone else does. Do you think this is a game? Do I have to remind you? Why we are all here? People are suffering and dying every day because they are denied the knowledge of their true heritage by some god inside the holy mountain. We will end the Keeper's reign! Teach the people the ancient knowledge of our creators that they have been denied and bring enlightenment to the world! Hooray! I have great news, everyone! Brother Fireheart has gained control of the Stronghold's power grid. An electrical fire is going to cause a complete outage of the North Wing, shutting down all locks, defenses and security systems. This is our chance to march into their sanctuary! Take control of their god machine! Team Alpha will leave in three hours. This means every trained fighter. Only a skeleton crew will stay at the base. This is our day, brothers and sisters! Well, looks like this is it. The stronghold is a day away, so by about this time tomorrow, the Dark Ages will finally be over. And what are we going... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's wrong with her? Uh, she's got a dark plague and she's getting weaker and weaker. The dark plague, you say? At her age? Well, that's unusual. Yeah, it looks like she only caught it a few weeks ago. Something doesn't make sense here. You don't catch the dark plague. It's a genetic predisposition. Uh... A Gen genetic what? It means that you're either born with it or you are not. I have no explanation. All I know is that she didn't show any symptoms until a few days ago. I need to tell you something. The pendant she's wearing, the tree of knowledge. Do you know why her father gave it to her? I have no idea. The amulet was Fireheart's failsafe. He didn't want to reveal Frostwind's identity to anyone, so he gave her the pendant and a secret phrase so she could identify herself in case he could no longer care for her. Even I didn't know who she was until I, you two showed up at my house. Hmm. Fireheart must really love his daughter. He does. This is also terrifying. This was supposed to be the last resort if everything else fails. 
Something isn't right here. I make sure to keep that in mind, but... Uh, anyway, we need to get her to a place where she can rest. Could you please take care of her for a moment? I have an idea. Frosty? Hey, Frosty! Wake up, come on! Do you hear me? Uh... River? What happened? Here, I've got something to drink for you. <coughs> Yuck! <coughs> Easy, Frosty. Easy. Come on. We need to get, to get you and you can get some rest, okay? Do you think you can walk? Here, I'll help you. Uh, you can use the tent by the oak tree. Okay, great. Boss, mm -hmm. I know you. What's wrong? I don't know. Something. I can't put my paw on it. Something isn't right. But Team Alpha is on its way now, and there's nothing we can do except wait and hope. Freezing, isn't it? Yes, it's a starry night. Beautiful, but cold. Would you, uh, would you mind if I come over to your side? Oh, well... Uh, only, only if you want, only if you want. No, no, it's fine. I feel lonely too. Come over here, kitty cat. Goose blanket has space for two. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling better now? Mm, much better. Mm, you're so cuddly. Oh my god, you can purr. That is so cute. Oh, oh, um, uh, yes, I can, but I'm trying not to. It's it's so, so childish. No, it's not. It's just cute. But, but men aren't supposed to be cute. Under my blanket... You can be as cute as you want. <laughs> All right, then. What is it this time? Uh, I can't stop thinking about all the things that happened today and how it all fits together. For example, Fireheart gave you the amulet and the song to identify yourself and get help when you need it. Why so complicated? It was pure luck we ended up here so quickly. If your father works at the stronghold, I won't expect him to know what happened in Cold Leg yesterday. Why didn't he send one of the rebels to get you out? Because that would have blown his cover? Possible. But I feel like there's a whole different side to the story that we're missing out on. Is there, is there anything else your father gave to you? Not really. The only contact we had was when he sent patches of worn out robes for my mother to fix. He was too afraid to send written notes, so sometimes he put things into one of the robes' pockets as if they had been forgotten to let us know everything is alright. Coins, little gemstones, a little extra support for mom. Oh, and he also used to send me sweets so I don't have to be so sad. But. He stopped sending those a while ago. I guess he thought I was getting too old. How about that song your father taught you? Light so bright, light so true. Uh, did he ever tell you what it means? No, only that it was part of our secret and that bad things would happen if I sung it to anyone but myself. Hmm. Do you think that bad things will happen if you sing it to me? Because I'd really like to hear it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It goes like this. Light, 
safe here? With you around, every place feels safe. Please keep doing that. Please keep doing it all night long. Tried so hard to be quiet, and then I bit my. <laughs> quiet. What if they hear us? <laughs> Oi! Are you finally done fucking yet? <laughs> Some people want to sleep, you know. Ah, oh, screw it! I go for a walk until you two are through. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! So much for a good reputation. Uh, do you think that guy has a bone or not? <laughs> <laughs> well, he sure did pitch a tent. <laughs> frosty, frosty, I. I would have never thought that you were such a naughty girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in times like these, it's hard to stay sane. I needed this. I needed you. <sighs> Me too. I haven't felt this complete in a long time. I'm so glad I met you. Are you sure? I mean, even with all the trouble I've caused, Remind me of someone. <laughs> you know, that's one of the worst things to say right after. No, no, no. You. <laughs> it's not. No, 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 no. It's not what. It's not what you think. It's. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why a guy my age is living in such a big house all alone? Well, something bad happened, right? I grew up going to the keeper's temple, listening to the priest's sermons. I learned how the gods blessed the animals living in the holy mountain and they gave them a mind of their own, the ability to speak, made the keepers our shepherds. I wanted to show the gods my gratitude for as long as I lived. Until one day... What happened? I had a wife I loved dearly, but something happened to her. The light in the house, it, it began to blind her, even when the shutters were closed. Even when her eyes were closed, it got worse every day. She just wanted to run away and hide from it, like, like a snap trap or a pig rat. I didn't, I didn't know what to do, so I brought her to the temple. The keepers were shepherds, right? They kept her there and sent me home. And when I came back the next day, she was gone. They, 
They told me that the gods had decided she was possessed by darkness. Mighty gods! Are you saying they... I mean... I, I never found out what, what they did to her, but... What I do know is that that was the day I stopped believing. And I swore that I would never let something like that happen again. And then you decided to let me ruin what's left of your life? No, Frostwind, it's, it's exactly the opposite. Ever since I lost my wife, I have been dead inside. You made me feel alive again. And look where you've taken us. We are in a place full of things that would have been magic to us only yesterday. Right now, I couldn't be happier. I love you, Frost. I want to stay with you until all eternity. I love you too, River, but you know I'm going to die. No. No, you're not. I swear on my life that I will find a way for you to live. Wait, what was that just, just now? I don't know. Is that one of the machines? Whatever it is, I don't like the sound of it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to check it out. Be careful. Don't worry. I'll be back in a minute. Hello? Are you still awake? Did you also hear that noise? You know, it, it went like... Yes, that's exactly how it sounds. No! <laughs> oh, hello! How rude of me to interrupt your tender moments. If I had known that you're Fireheart's little bastard, I would have taken so much better care of you. <sighs> what do you want, Iron Will? Nothing. Just <laughs> you. I'm afraid this is going to hurt quite a bit. <laughs> Scream if you want. There's nobody left to hear it. Ah, rather strong arm. Are we ready to leave? Yes, Overseer. They're all knocked out. Excellent. I've got what I was looking for. Set this place ablaze and follow quickly. You must get to the mountain before the rebels. Hey, wait a minute. What about me? I let you inside the camp and I showed you where her tent is. What about my reward? Oh, of course. You should get your reward. Brother Strongarm, would you be so kind? Most certainly. Ah! Now set his place on fire. I will. And you are coming with me. Oh shit! Holy fucking shit! Do you what believe me now? Done? Yeah, I yeah! I told you it was a trap! Yeah, but why beat them out of all people? I don't care. We need to act. Get as many people out of here, that hands as you can. Okay, shit. okay, alright! Oh, come on with me. Come on. We'll take them to the bunker, quickly! Yeah!
Eject storage device one. Ejecting storage device one. Please wait. Medium is now safe to remove. Reset watchdog program. Watchdog timer reset. Remaining time until shutdown, two days, 23 hours, 59 minutes. Delete command log and terminate session. Goodbye, Brother Fireheart. Oh, my back. Oh, I've been sitting in front of this thing way too long. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. Oh, you must be Brother Fireheart. Good thing you're still here. I was afraid I was going to miss you. Would you terribly mind answering a few questions? Who in the God's name are you? I don't think we've met before. My name's Falcon Eye of Quail's Hollow. I've been ordered to the stronghold at Great Overseer Ironwill's personal request. What is that in your hand? It's a data crystal. It's part of my work, and whatever Iron Will ordered you here for, I would very much appreciate it if you did it somewhere else. Good night. It will just take a minute, I promise. Please sit down. I don't have time for this. Oh, don't worry. You're going to have plenty of time soon. What do you mean? It has come to our attention that there has been an unusual amount of irregularities at the stronghold. Human artifacts disappearing overnight, inexplicable power surges, Records that don't match? And what do I have to do with it? I'm a scientist, not an accounting clerk. A scientist? That's a human word, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry if that confuses you, but yes. Human artifacts and knowledge are my field of expertise. Now that's funny. We just caught a group of outcasts in the forest at Serpent River, and you know what? They talk just like you. And not only did they have their pockets full of illegal human artifacts, they knew what they were called, and how to use them. Well, maybe you should invite them. It seems like we can learn from them. It seems to me more like one of us has been teaching them. We are the keepers of the light, and we are the keepers of the ancient knowledge. If they know something only we should know, that means we have a problem, doesn't it? It means someone in our midst is a traitor. Now, would you mind telling me where you are taking that data crystal? To my room. Sometimes I take my work up to my room. And then what are you going to do with it, without a machine to read it? You know nothing about this technology. Oh, I do. Everything you wrote about it, in fact. I have been watching you for many months, Brother Fireheart. Studying your work, your records, your life. I know where you were born, where you grew up, what you did during your time in Cold Lake, and I know the name of every single commoner you fucked with. How many bastard children did you conceive, Fireheart? How many? That is none of your goddamn business. At least thanks to the plague, you won't have to pay much for child support. You filthy son of a pig rat! I could understand your rage if I were making this up, but I'm just merely stating the facts. You seem to have a hard time coming to terms with your own past. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Maybe it's time to confess. Just let it all out. Come on, relieve the rage. There is nothing to confess. And funny enough, that's not even a lie because I already know it's you who has been leaking our sacred knowledge to the Rebel Underground for all these years. And I already know that the Rebel Underground is about to launch an attack against the Stronghold, using the very knowledge and technology you gave them. There's indeed not much left to confess, I'll give you that, except one thing. And what would that be, Brother Know-it-all? Since the day you came here, you've been checking out a double dose of the Shadow Remedy. I checked all the logs against the actual register of residents. Turns out that one of the names belongs to a brother who's been dead for years. There's only one reason to check out two doses. To keep someone alive who's not supposed to be alive. And I want you to tell me who that someone is. Over my cold, dead body. <laughs> oh, all in due time, Brother Fireheart. We'll see to that. We'll see to that. All right. This is it. Entrance B-35. 
And it's open. I'll go in first and check it out. The whole place is dark, and not a single soul in sight. Excellent. We are going ahead as planned. Follow me. So far, everything is exactly as Fireheart promised. This means we'll have about ten minutes to get to the five main control stations before the power comes back on. Once we've disarmed the guards, we'll round them up in the old decontamination area and... Fireheart? Fuck! It's a trap! <laughs> Don't touch the barrier! <laughs> Do not move! All right, Iron Will. I know you're in here. <laughs> Congratulations, Stormrunner. You caught them quickly. But a bit too late. Screw you, Iron Will. How long has he been dead? For about a month or so. Sorry for scaring you like that, but he developed a bit of smell, so I put him outside. Now drop your sword, or shall we shock the crap out of you? <sighs> Happy now? Delighted. You have been troubling for so many years. Now, you're finally in front of me, shitting your pants. My day just couldn't get any better. Oh, wait. Actually, it could. <laughs> Never win! <laughs> now, my day is perfect. Look what has become of your laughable leaders. Fireheart, this is what happens to renounce the gods of the Holy Mountain. Fireheart is dead. Stormrunner is dead. The rebellion is dead. Hand over your weapons. The rebellion will never die. We will fight you, the lost man. So touching to see how you hold on to that little dream of yours. You think, just maybe, your brothers and sisters of Come Freedom will come to save your sorry heights? Well, it breaks my heart to tell you that Come Freedom is no longer anything more but a pile of smoldering ashes. And so are your brothers and sisters. <laughs> Don't believe what he says. It's just trying to demoralize us. Maybe you will believe my witness. The only survivor. <laughs> He's right. I saw the camp burn with my own eyes. Everyone is dead. If you keep fighting, you will all die for nothing. Please. <laughs> there. I told you so. A keeper always tells the truth. <coughs> then why don't you tell the people the truth about the gods of the Holy Mountain? And the Dark Plague? And the human technology? How can you say you're telling the truth? Knowledge is like fire. Used carefully, it can warm you on a cold winter's night. But if set free, the fire spreads and destroys everything in its path. There once was a great civilization before ours, but the power of the knowledge had become so strong that it destroyed them. Today, nothing is left of but Aishi ruins. It's the Keeper's purpose to prevent that from ever happening again. The holy mountain is a herd of knowledge at the keep, so the people can bask in its warmth without getting burned. You may think yourself as liberators, but in reality, you are just careless children playing with fire. For that, you should be pitied. <laughs> if you pity them, 
at your mercy. <coughs> when the crypt is burning, who deserves mercy? The flames or the child? By your standards, I guess that it would depend whether the child has the plague or not. <laughs> There's truly some keeper's blood running through your veins. I would be tempted to see if you carry the flame of truth. If you weren't the traitor's bastard, of course. Thank you very much, I'm sure. Now, what are you going to do with them? Drown them in the nearest lake? What a waste that would be! No, they can serve a better purpose. They will be made examples of what happens to betrayers of the Holy Mountain. They will be tried and executed in their own villages. <laughs> you don't sound so well, Iron Will. You should get that checked by a professional human miracle scientist before your peers decide you're a threat to mankind. It happens quicker than you think. I know what I'm talking about. No! <clears throat> no, Frostwind. You absolutely don't. Come, and let me tell you why you're on this side of the fence. Follow me. I need to show you something. <laughs> Max, I really need to talk to you. Jeff, sorry. I'm in the middle of a phone call. It's important. Uh, all right. Can I call you back? Okay, thanks. Okay, Jeff, what's the matter? We have got to stop this madness. What happened? It doesn't work. And it never will and you know it. Goldberg's team started another trial run of Strain C. And this time it didn't just go wrong. No, it went horribly wrong. You know, Jeff, we don't force anybody. The subjects are all volunteers and they know the risks. Someone has to make sacrifices if we want humanity to prevail. Oh, that's easy to say if you weren't there. It seemed to work for a minute or so. But then there was a glitch in the communication matrix and everything went out of control. Can you imagine what it looks like if a million nanites suddenly start slicing randomly through a man's body? It's the most disturbing thing I have ever had to see in my entire life. It was turned into a bloody pulp as if someone had turned on a giant blender. All the while it was fully conscious. And it didn't stop at that. The medics jumped forward to help him and as soon as they touched him, the nanites entered their bodies. They both lost their hands before the safeguards kicked in, and the swarm shut itself down. It was a goddamn massacre! <sighs> Jeff, I'm so sorry you had to see this. But what else are we supposed to do if we ever want to go back to the surface again? I have no perfect solution, Max. We're all just poking around in the fog, but this technology was designed to be part of a machine, and a military killing machine at that. It's a foolish idea to believe you can somehow reprogram it to repair a human body instead of a tank. What if the swarm doesn't shut down the next time, and it wipes us all out? Jeff, you do realize you need help, right? No, you need help. This isn't ethical. It's not even rational. Please, Jeff, calm down. You should go and see the counselor. And take a few weeks off, okay? Take a few weeks off? <laughs> oh no, I'll tell you what I do. I quit. And let the geneticists win the race? Whoa, you think this is some sort of competition? Geneticists against nanotechnologists? And if they win, we lose? Has it ever occurred to you that if either team wins, nobody loses? But if we wipe out our own crew, we all lose. Look, Jeff, I don't know about you, but I want the real humanity back. A civilization of actual, genuine humans. Not some tarnished, diluted chimera. What is life worth if we no longer know who we are? There is only one human race, and if I had to sacrifice my own life to save it, I would do so. If you have a problem with that, you have no place in this organization. The old times are gone, Max, and nothing will ever bring them back. Evolution knows only one direction, that is forward. So you're changing camps? Yes. And I'm sorry, Max. I used to believe in nanotechnology, but today's incident has opened my eyes. If I have the choice between creating new life and taking it away, I know what's right. You'll have my papers by tomorrow. 
Good night, Max. Come in, everybody. The keepers don't know about this entrance, so we should be safe here for a while. Where are we? <laughs> We're inside the Holy Mountain. The Keeper Stronghold at the summit is just a very small part of a much larger underground complex. This part was sealed off a long time ago. It's the last place they'll be expecting us. Amazing. And all this was built by the humans? Yes. Unlike the ruins you can find outside, this place here was built to last centuries. This place was once a refuge for our thousands of people. The final remains of a dying civilization. How do you know about all this? Fireheart studied the documents the humans have left behind in this stronghold. He shared centuries of history with us so we could use it to build a new world. Oh. Can we save the history lessons for another time? All we had went up in flames anyway. That makes spreading the word even more important. You know what's important to me right now? All my friends are dead. That's important. I'm sorry. I can't turn back time. I never liked the idea to take the Keeper's stronghold by force. I think we should have put more effort in actually educating the people. But it was Samaran's decision to make. He was the leader, not me. <laughs> and now you're in charge? Are you ready to lead us? He's the one who saved the Asurias. Show some respect. Fuck you. My friends are dead, and here's all words and no action. And action? Here, have some action. <laughs> ah, come here, you bastard. I ah, will fucking kill you. Hey. Ah. Hey. Ah. Guys, uh. Ah. Hey, stop, stop it. Ah. Ah. Chill the fuck out! Stop fighting! Listen. They were my friends too. Do you even realize what happened here tonight? Stormrun is dead. We are on our own. We must stand together. I'm sorry. It's just... It's all been a bit too much. I'm the one who needs to be sorry here. If we hadn't come to your camp, I'm sure things would have turned out quite differently. Charlie, I'm very glad you found us. If there's anyone to blame, then it's me. I had all the puzzle pieces, and I knew something was wrong, but by the time I figured it out, Iron was already burning down the camp. By, by the time you figured what out? Why Frostwind never showed any symptoms of the plague all these years? It was so obvious, but I didn't see it. In order for her to survive, Fireheart must have some, sub, somehow, he has supplied her or her mother with a radiation remedy. R radiation what? Radiation damages the body's DNA. But the humans found a way to repair the damage using swarms of specially programmed nanites that... What Brushy here is trying to say is that the Keepers have a huge machine that spits out little green pills. And if you take one every week, you won't get the plague. Exactly. Frostwind suddenly getting the plague means she no longer got the medicine. And that, in turn, means that something must have happened to her father. I could have warned Stormrunner, but it totally didn't occur to me. Something could be wrong. It's, it's all right, Brushy. We all tried to do our best. It's the only thing we can do, right? Do you think Frostwind is still alive? Yes. I saw Ironwell carrying her out of the camp. She must have something he wants. So, so she, she could be in this very building. Maybe. Maybe not. But you can't just walk upstairs from here and burst into the keeper's living room. It, but The inhabited area is pretty well sealed off. And, and even if you'd find a way, they have ways of detecting intruders you can't even imagine. But we can't just sit here and do nothing either. Frostwind might have only a few days more to live. 
you said that to keep us have a cure. If all we need is a handful of pills, then we, we just <laughs> might. <sighs> What's so funny about this? <laughs> the machine that produces the shadow remedy is the single most well protected thing in the entire stronghold. The holy of the holiest. What makes it so important? The keepers don't get the plague. Or do they? Here's a little history lesson for you. The radiation that causes the dark plague is the very same thing that nearly wiped out humanity. If humans still existed, and you would put one of them in the middle of Ferndale marketplaces, he would get sick and die. But we are not human. Oh, yes. Yes, we are, my friend. In many ways, especially the keepers. What? Look around. What do you see? Well, I see cages. Your own ancestors might once have lived in one of these cages. We are the creation of God. We are not the creations of gods. We are the creations of humans, my friend. We are surrogates, bred to live in a world no longer inhabitable for their own kind. What? The keepers are our own prototypes. They have human blood. What? They are not immune to the radiation. And without the remedy, they will die. All of them. Guess what they are not allowed, why they are not allowed to breed with us commoners. And guess why they are protecting the holy mountain like life itself. <laughs> wow. That is just... Wow. <laughs> yeah, it flawed me too. The first 20 times I heard it. Yeah, sparky. <sighs> All right, fine. I understand now what I'm up against, but you know what? I once lo lost a loved one just because I was too afraid to take things into my own hands, and I'd rather die trying than make that same mistake again. I must go. But we can't come with you. I understand. But please at least tell me how to get there. <sighs> All right. It was nice knowing you, my friend. That hurt. Oh. Oh. I see now why this wasn't the rebels' preferred invasion route. Oh. Wow. Wow. This looks so much nicer than the prayer room of the, ch of the chapel in Ferndale. Everything's so bright and beautiful. I wonder what kind of ceremonies they conduct in here. Uh oh, drat. Someone coming. Why can't I keep my goddamn mouth shut? Oh, right over there. There's still time for some practice. One, two, three, <coughs> three four. Sorry, my friend. 
Sorry, but I need this right now. Come here. Let me borrow that cloak for a moment. Wow. <laughs> Look at me, Brother River Song, Avenger of the Dispossessed. <laughs> huh. Now, what am I going to do with you? All right. Have a nice day, my friend. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. You're supposed to stay inside. No, that won't work. Ah, there. Piece of cake. <laughs> now let's see. Let's see if I can frost, if I can find Frostman. Shouldn't be too hard now that I'm in disguise. Dear brothers and sisters, <laughs> welcome to today's morning service. Praise be the gods of the holy mountain, as it was, was and, and, and always, always will be. Head overseer Ironwell has <coughs> called me up from my home village to temporarily serve as a replacement for Brother Swiftfoot, whose health Sadly, has deteriorated so much that he can't be with us here today. May the gods be with him and his family. As it was, was and, and always, always will be. Before we begin with the festive part, uh, <coughs> Overseer Ironwill asked me to give you a few updates about the current situation. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. We still have not been able to restart the main light core, which means that the production of the Shadow Remedy is still halted. Our best researchers are working on a solution, but until then, we can only see it as the gods will to test our faith. As, as it was, and always, and always will, will be. be. Without the remedy, <clears throat> the darkness within us grows every day. And the overseers are calling up brothers and sisters from all villages who are still of better health to help us out. <coughs> Our healers have opened up an extra basement level, which will serve as a temporary infirmary. If anyone in your family shows any signs of the plague, Please take them down to level 12, and let the healers take a look. Any questions? Ye yes please? The scriptures say that the light core is driven by the power of the gods. Does that mean that the gods have forsaken us? No, oh, no, of course not. It is hard to explain without getting technical, but ac <coughs> according to Overseer Ironwill, it is not that the god's power is no longer there, but the machinery that controls it has been locked down, so we can no longer use it. Is it true that the lockdown was Brother Fireheart's doing? Yes. He was a servant of the darkness. 
But don't despair. <clears throat> Where there is a lock, there is also a key. Fireheart's bastard daughter. Iron Will is interrogating her right now. So let's pray to the gods of the Holy Mountain. As it, As it was, was and, and always, always will be. <laughs> let's sing the song of the uplifting. Chant book, page 437. Music, please. What are you waiting for? I said, music, please. Oh, we're... By the gods, stop the dreadful noise! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I have the dark plague. And the flu, and the measles, at the same time. Uh, I can barely see, or hear, or smell, or, or taste. For goodness sake, then why are you still here? Get your tail down to the infirmary. Oh yes. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Strongarm, for letting me go. I would have gone to the infirmary, but I didn't want to disappoint you. It's it's okay. Just 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 go. I tried my best, but it wasn't good enough. Don't don't worry. Music has been always my greatest passion. At wait, stop right there and show me your face. Um. <laughs> Hello, uh. River song. Uh, what are you waiting for? Seize him! Please don't... Ah! <laughs> <sighs> what the hell? This better be important. Yes? Ah. Uh. Sorry to wake you up, Paul, but it seems we have a problem with the power distribution. Uh-huh. And what is so important about that? What, you need to wake me up in the middle of the night? I can't fix your power. Call a goddamn electrician. Well, that's what we did, but it's not a regular power outage. We've lost contact with the entire biolab section. All five floors went dark at the same time, including the backup power. Also, the fire doors have closed, so we can't get in. Shit. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, any explosions, fire, or other incident? No, we checked the surveillance cameras, nothing to see, and no unusual environmental readings. It was all quiet and normal, and all of a sudden, all the circuit breakers tripped. How many people are still in the lab? Nobody. Security had just finished their round. Five minutes later, and they'd be trapped. What the fuck is going on there? We're talking about at least three independent systems here, all redundant, especially life support. This can't be a coincidence. Do what you can to get in there. No shit. Guess what we've been trying all the time. Oh, wait. Uh, what? Uh, the, the... Jeff? It seems power's coming back. Hang on. And reset the goddamn fire doors! Okay, doors are opening. Wait, let's... Shit! Close the door! Close the door! Paul? Paul? Oh, no, 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 what the fuck is going on there? The evacuation alarm. Oh, may God help us. I knew this wouldn't end well. I knew it. I got to get to my environment. I... Oh, oh, bloody... Oh, my God, Francis. You nearly scared the loving shit out of me. Why do you always sneak up on me like that? I'm sorry for not being as noisy as your kind is, Master. Well, very funny. Something went wrong in the biolab. We need to get to the surface. Have you seen my suit? Right over here, Master. What? What, what did you do to my suit? It, it's torn to pieces. Then what are you doing with that knife? Today is the beginning of a new age. Francis, what are you talking about? It was me who gave you a gift of life. I raised you like a son. I fed you. I taught you to walk. I taught you to speak. Is this how you're going to thank me for it? 
Like your son is what you say. Like your slave is what you mean. I want to believe we are family. I want to believe you care about us. But then, why did I have to call you master? From now on, there will no longer be a master. You can call me Jeff. Listen to me, Jeff. Even if I look a lot like the cute little kitten in that old family photo on your desk, I'm not stupid. None of us are. Did you really expect we wouldn't find out how to use your fancy machines? Did you really think you could hide your plans from us? I've been reading your emails, and I know what fate you had in mind for our kind now that we're obsolete. You want us destroyed. Every single one of us. But that wasn't my idea. It's an order by the commander. He's a firm believer in nanotechnology, and now that the radiation cure works, he ordered the end of all genetic experiments. The genetic experiment begs to disagree. I, I even fought for you. I tried to convince him to let you live. Honestly, please don't kill me. I'm your friend. If you really were my friend, you would have warned me, Jeff. But you didn't. You're all the same. You cannot be trusted. No. No! Ah! Ah! This is the new age. Your kind no longer rules this place. Welcome to the inner sanctum of the stronghold. Only a chosen few ever get to see this place. Um, oh no. <coughs> Please, take a seat. <coughs> now, what do you want from me? Iron Will. Your father did something terrible. And you are the only one who can stop it. My father? This is the place your father used to work. The huge thing over there is called the main light core. It harnesses the power of the gods. And like almost everything made inside of the stronghold, it's controlled by some kind of artificial brain. Brother Fireheart was our most valuable expert on this kind of human technology. You mean before you killed him, right? He brought that upon himself. He gave away our holy secrets to the rebels. And of course we had to stop him. The power of the gods is mighty enough to wipe out all life from the face of Earth. If it got into the wrong hands, that could mean the end of our world. My father just wanted us to be free. A freedom paid for with the blood of innocence. When he was still alive, your father set up a trap. He programmed the artificial brain that controls the light core to shut itself down. Unless... He personally delivers a special code word at least once every three days to prevent it. And so, exactly three days after his execution, the Light Core shut itself down. And with it, the production of the Shadow Remedy. <laughs> he outsmarted you. There is nothing funny about this. <coughs> Don't you realize what this means? The Keepers are dying. Thousands of good people. No one will be spared a slow and painful death, including you, unless you decide to help us. Everything points to you being the key to unlock this machine again. You... <laughs> you murdered my father and my mother. You killed my friends in their sleep. You took away everything that I ever loved. And after all that, you seriously expect me to help you? Are you fucking kidding me? The Shadow Remedy will only save our lives. <coughs> it will also save yours. <laughs> I have been prepared to die from the moment your people burst into my mother's home and slit her throat. I am grateful for every day I got to live after that. But I was always aware that my days were numbered. I have nothing left to lose. And if I can take a filthy pigware like you to my grave, so much better. Well, what a shame. 
If I can't talk sense into you, I guess we have to do it the old-fashioned way. Send him in! <coughs> River! Here he is, Overseer. Thank you. I knew you two would be delighted to see each other again. <sighs> Frostwind. Uh. I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. Two lovers reunited. Too bad that the wedding has to be cancelled. Uh, hey, what do you want with my amulet? Uh. <sighs> it sure takes some time to get it from you. But your father went a long way to make this machine useless, in case this petty rebellion fails. But when our spies saw you presenting your amulet to Arable Scouts, and say the secret phrase, that showed us the way. Token accepted. Please log in. Log in! Login passphrase required. Challenge? Light so bright. Light so pure! Login passphrase accepted. System is in maintenance mode. Maintenance passphrase required. Challenge? Keepers of the light. And now, Frostwind, your moment has come to heroically save the Keeper's race by telling us the rest of this song. Especially that very last line that nobody seems to know, except you. Fuck you, Iron Will. Fuck you, Iron Will is not the maintenance pass rate. Starting over. <sighs> Dear brother, would you mind guarding the door from the other side for a while? <coughs> it might get a little bit... <coughs> nasty in here. Whatever you say, Overseer. Now, just in case you want to complain about my brutality again, please notice that I gave you not only one, but two chances to get out of this unharmed. You wanted it this way, not me. Ow! No! Fuck! <laughs> oh, my ear! Ah, now sing, my darling! Sing! No! No! Don't do it! He will kill us anyway! I said sing! What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? What in your dreams! <laughs> you think dropping in makes you a hero? No. For that you're not man enough to save your friends. <laughs> now die. Brushy, are you alright? Take my sword. Take care of Rivers right. and lock the door quick. Oh, oh Frosty. Oh. There you go. Oh. I'm so glad you're still oh, alive, finally. Frostwind. Oh. Let's lock that door. Oh. That was a close call. Wow. Brushy, what do we do now? Brushy? Oh shit. Brushy! Brushy! Ah, no. ah. I don't make the same mistake twice! Stay away from me, you Not this sick time. bastard! You will join our ancestors! Not me if 
I can't get out there again. Use your sword. Now for your life. Frostwind? Are you alright? No, nothing is alright. River! River Sun! Can you hear me? River! Uh, rust. Rust me? Rust me, yes. Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Can you? Can you get out? We need to get you out of here. Here, take my paw. I. I can't feel my legs. I, I'm sorry. I can't move. Oh. Hello? What's going on in there? Iron Will, are you there? <coughs> Hello? Oh shit, we're sitting in a trap. It's only a matter of minutes until they kick in the door. We need to have River Song. Please. <laughs> the bottom of the chamber is at least four meters deep. If you got any ideas, I am all ears. Isn't there something here we could... Even if there was, how are we supposed to get out of here? This is your final warning! Open the door and release the Overseer! If you want us dead, you'll have to come in and get us! All right, you had your chance. We're coming in! Okay, let's think. Is there anybody left out there we could ask for help? Sparky! Sparky and Longleaf are still with the other camp survivors. I could try calling them. Call them? But how would they be able to hear us? <laughs> the room has a communication unit, just like this one next to the door. If you're lucky, it still works. Let's try this. Hey, Russian! I told you it was a good idea to write down the TOM number. What's up? We are boarded up in the main control room, and the keepers are about to kick in the door. Sounds like you should get the hell out of there. That's the problem. We can't. And we are out of ideas. Ah, uh, lovely. Any news from Team Alpha? Yes, they're still alive. Iron will have them run up in the courtyard. Well, that's your rescue squad. All you gotta do is let them out. Sparky? This isn't funny and not the time. I'm not joking. You're in the main control room. The door locks, the power supply, the intercom, and even some of the weapons can be controlled from there. You're the guards of the holy mountain. No, we are not. Fireheart locked the computer and turned off the light core. Can't you turn it back on again? No. River Song is inside the reactor chamber. It would instantly kill him. Ah, shit. Then we must find a different way. Do it anyways! <gasps> no! I could never harm you, River! I love you! Look around you. Maybe there's something you can use as a weapon. The door! They're breaking through! No! You must do it, Frostwind! No! Or they're no. going to kill you all! No! Dark and someone shut that guy up! If you can't, <laughs> I will do it! Login! Login passphrase required. River, are you crazy? What are you doing? The light so bright. Light so pure. Login passphrase accepted. Keepers of the light. Answer me true. Password accepted. So bright, so pure, light, so true. I give myself to you. Start up confirmed. If there's a life after this one, I will be watching over you, I promise. Take care, my love. Take care. No! No, stop! Make it stop! No!
Dear Frostwind, If you are seeing this message, it means that the rebellion has failed and I am probably already dead. In case this happens, I have programmed the main computer to shut down the fusion reactor and secure itself for a period of one year, long enough to cause the complete extinction of the Keeper's race. I'm not sure I can trust my own sanity anymore, but there's more at stake than anyone can imagine. In a time long before we existed, the Earth was ruled by humans. They were incredibly powerful. They lived in cities the size of kingdoms. They could fly to the moon, and they had unlocked the mystery of life. But they also built the most terrible weapons, powerful enough to destroy the entire world. When the Great War broke out, it wiped most of humanity from the face of the Earth in a matter of days. Only a small group of scientists survived, hiding inside a secret underground facility shielded by thick layers of rocks. But the land above was now poisoned with deadly radiation and their supplies would not last forever. They had to reclaim the surface to survive, but, but how? The scientists were divided into two camps. The nanotechnologists who believed that humans needed to transform themselves into a new superior species a fusion of man and technology, their blood infused with microscopic machines keeping them alive in even the most hostile environments. The genetic engineers were appalled by this idea as it threatened to blur the boundary between human and artifact. It was indecent, unnatural, and unethical. They proposed transferring human DNA into lab animals instead, blessing them with just enough human qualities to perform complex tasks at the command of their masters and prepare the earth for the return of humankind. They had short lifespans, but they bred rapidly, and consistent selection would make them increasingly resistant to the radiation. The nanotechnologists were just as disgusted by this idea as the genetic engineers were by theirs. After many weeks of fruitless debate, the two teams eventually struck out on their own, each of them hoping to be the first to make the other group's efforts obsolete. The genetic engineers made great strides, and the results looked promising. Each generation of animals turned out a little bit more resistant against the radiation, and soon they were able to permanently live outside the compound, performing the basic building and farming tasks their masters had taught them. Strict selection ensured that only the most resilient individuals were allowed to breed. Those who turned out to be unfit to live outside were trained to serve the humans inside the compound. But the geneticists' hopes were rudely shattered one day when the nanotechnologist announced that they had won the race. They could now manufacture the radiation cure we know today as the shadow remedy. The leaders decided that there was no need for further animal testing and all remaining specimens were to be destroyed. A simple administrative act, but the last one ever to be decided by a human being. The animal slaves living inside the bunker had wisely hidden how intelligent they really were, and they did not take kindly to their master's plans. Their revolt was bloody, marking the dawn of a new age, an age in which humans no longer existed. The former slaves took over the place we now call the Stronghold on the Holy Mountain, appearing like gods to the commoners still living outside the compound. Reveling in their newfound power, eventually they became the Keepers of the Light. To this day, the Holy Mountain holds the knowledge of an entire civilization, but rather than share that knowledge, the Keepers hoard it for themselves and keep the population dumb, poor, and dependent upon godly gifts. Gifts that are really just products of human technology that they don't even fully understand themselves. Now that the rebellion has failed, you are the only one I can trust and I'm glad you were able to follow my tracks. Genocide is no longer the last resort. The Keeper's fate now rests in your hands. Maybe you can do better than I. Maybe you haven't gone insane yet. I trust you to do the right thing. I trust you to bring the world the truth. Farewell, my beloved daughter. Farewell. This is what Grandpa Fireheart looked like? Uh, yes, Rain Dancer. I remember it like it was yesterday. I still miss him. 
and grew us some too. What happened after you started the light core? How did you get out? Uncle Barashi used the main computer to free the rebels of Team Alpha that were still being held in the courtyard, giving them instructions over the intercom where to find us. The keepers were not prepared for a sudden attack, and when they found out that Iron War was dead, and they no longer had control over their own machinery, they eventually surrendered. Wow, <laughs> you're a hero. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because we wanted to be sure you were ready for it. It's quite a gruesome story after all. Uh, Brushy, I think he's old enough to understand the real reason. What is the real reason then? Because I am not a hero. I'm a survivor, and I feel guilty for that. For Riverson, your father. The reason I never told you the whole story was... I couldn't. The scars needed to heal. But it wasn't your fault he died. <sighs> it's not that easy to come to terms with. Well, if it helps, for me, you're the most awesome mom in the world. <laughs> oh yes, it does. And one day, I want to be a scientist, just like Grandpa Fireheart. <laughs> By the way, Uncle Brushy, um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, my, my biology teacher said that a species is defined as the largest group of organisms capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring. Oh, that's right, Rain Dancer. You did your homework well. But, but Daddy was a cat. Mom used a fox, so... How did that even work? <laughs> yes, Uncle Brushy. How did that even work? Uh, well, you see, that's... That's because we're not all really different species. Under the fur, we are all just humans. We just look a little different. Me too? <laughs> yes, you too. But enough heavy subjects. Tonight's festival night. Don't you want to see your present? Oh, yes! Yes, yes, of course! What is it? Wow. Wow. This... This is the... The Tree of Knowledge pendant? Is that a real one? Yes, may it always protect you. And may it always remind you that your family and your friends will be there for you at all times. Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Brushy, old boy! What the hell, Sparky, Longleaf? <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. Did you come all the way from Ironforge just to see us? Well, drinking alone is only half the fun, isn't it? We're gonna get hammered, just like in the old times. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Come on in, everybody! My... my lord! I, I hereby most subservently request permission to get hammered too. Seriously? Are you still holding a grudge against me after all those years? Oh well, go meet with your friends. Yippee! Citizens of Ferndale, may I have your attention while everybody's still sober? We are celebrating a special anniversary today. It has been exactly 10 years since the liberation from the Keepers of the Light. And we've come a long way since then. We are no longer blind to the true origin of our species. The ancient scientific knowledge is now free for all. And although we're not quite ready yet to master it like our human forefathers did, it has already improved our lives in numerous ways. The strangling color of the Keeper's reign has been taken from us. And so I wish to dedicate this year's Festival of Light to our heroes who lost their lives in the most unlikely battle of our history. 
Fireheart of Cold Lake, River Thong of Ferndale, and the rebels of Camp Freedom. They will always live on in our hearts. Light so bright, light so pure, spread the wisdom, spread the truth, sing it to the world, let them know that the tree of knowledge grows. Yes.